now we move on to 1970s uh, as you know 1970s is a very cataclysmic time for pakistan uh, you know in the 1971 east pakistan separated and become bangladesh uh, so before going to uh, discuss the, uh, the education policies or education programs in the 1970s i want to make clear of certain terms which i am going to use or i'm i'm using during these times uh, during these modules uh, but you may not know the exact meaning of these terms so literacy rate so what is literacy rate so literacy rate rate is the number of people in a certain age group who can read and write divided by the total number of people in that age group multiplied by 100 so it is uh, different for different age groups so literacy rate can be in people from 10 uh, from 20 years of age to 30 years of age or 30, 40 years to 50 years of age so usually when we talk about literacy rate we are talking about the adult literacy rate so what is adult literacy rate adult literacy rate is the number of people above 10 or 15 different uh, organizations diff- use different uh, age groups so 10 years of old or 15 year old uh, uh, of age who can read and write divided by the total number of people who are 10 or 15 years old so these anybody uh, who is educated and is above 10 years of age divided by the total number of uh, people who are Uh, above that age so that will give you the adult literacy rate of a country or of a region uh, then there is the gross and net enrollment rate so gross enrollment rate is the ratio uh, of the total enrollment within a country in a specific level of education so gr- gross enrollment rate is equal to children enrolled in private schools divided by total number of private age in children multiply by 100 so that is the gross enrollment so it is related to again related to an age but the focus is not on literacy but is on enrollment and net primary or net enrollment rate is the primary education uh, primary age children enrolled in primary school divided by the total number of primary age children multiply by 100 so net enrollment can never be higher than 100% and it is always less than uh, gross enrollment because uh, net enrollment only includes uh, children in a specific period uh, in a specific age while gross enrollment includes other children too so in net enrollment only children from uh, prime net primary enrollment only children from 5 to 10 years of age will be included uh, but in gross enroll primary enrollment uh even a person a uh, child who is sit uh, who is in primary school but is 13 or 14 or 15 years of age will also be included so it can be more than 100% so in uh, a new education policy was uh, uh, was uh, published by government of pakistan in 1970 under yahya khan uh, air marshal noor khan was the education minister at that time but it was never implemented because of uh, uh separation of east pakistan and change of government and all that uh, uh bhutto's education policy came out in 1972 and he uh, and that education policy looked at the period from 1972 to 1980 so 8 years uh, it called for it increased the free and universal education from class 8 uh, to class 10 Yeah, it thought that uh, by 1979 uh, there will be universal uh, primary uh, primary education for boys uh, in 1979 and for girls in 1984. Uh, and for class eight, the year was 1982 and 1987. Uh, it called for a massive literacy program uh, in every village in every town. uh it wanted to establish uh, 276000 literacy centers to educate 11 million persons uh it called for uh, nationalization uh, later on nationalization of education was done uh and uh, the idea was that if the government can provide low cost universal and nationalistic education to everybody and that would be much cheaper uh, than private education 
provided by uh, different religious and other private um, owners. It also called for, there was also this idea of uh, National Literacy, Literacy Core uh, in which college and university educations were supposed to uh, teach um, young children or make uh, adult people literate using their skills. Uh, all these ideas, good ideas were there, uh, but few were implemented, few were funded, and the end was uh, unfortunately again a little bit progress, but not much. Uh, most of the targets were missed. Thank you.